Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Um, and if you like my videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up, subscribe. And uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, thanks a bunch. Uh, you guys and gals are amazing. Uh, you uh, give me a lot of good comments. Uh, you really, you really watch the videos. I can tell, and uh, leave great comments. So thank you for that. Really do appreciate it. Um, if I ever get the hat commercial done, I'll stick the hat commercial right here. Uh, Y'all been wanting hats. I finally got hats. So um, we'll uh, put that right here. Oh my goodness. Here I am broke down beside the road. And it's so hot and humid out here today. I feel like a mountain. It's so hot. The eagles look like they're just sitting still in the sky. They can't even fly. It's just, it's miserable. And I forgot my hat today. What was I thinking? If it was just a breeze blowing right now, it may help. Oh, oh look. Can you wait a little bit? Oh, there is a breeze blowing. Oh, thank goodness. Now, if I just had a hat to keep this sun out of my... If I just had a hat now to keep this sun out of my eyes and off my face. Oh look, the wind blew a hat in. Let me see if it fits. That is such a comfortable hat. And it, it's like the sun's gone away. The sun's not beating down on my head now. And it, 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 feels, it feels 20 degrees cooler. It's awesome. Let me see, what kind of hat is that? Oh, that's one of those new Hillbilly RV hats. That's those one that Hillbilly guy's selling. You know what? I bet you if you went to that guy's PayPal account and sent him $21, I bet you he'd send you one of these hats. If you do that, be sure to leave your contact information as a private message on PayPal. And you could get one of these really nice hats. They're the Velcro closure. They are supposedly made in America. Don't look at the tag inside because it says uh, China. <laughs> but the little flag on the back says it's made in America. <laughs> Go check out. Oh, look. Oh. Hillbilly's got stickers too. If you buy a hat, he'll send you a sticker. So like I said, if you order a hat, you're gonna get a free sticker. If you just wanna buy the stickers, be five bucks for two stickers, okay? Same deal, just go to PayPal, uh, give a Hillbilly five bucks and your contact information in a private message and he'll send you a sticker. Two stickers, I mean. <laughs> So today, we're at one of our local campgrounds. This is actually one of their rental units. Uh, it had been off-site uh, on rent, and it just came back. And the lady that uh, runs the campground here says, the only thing that works is the microwave. She got no lights, she got no nothing in this camper except the microwave. So, does anybody know where I'm going with this? Uh, it sounds like the converter is not working for whatever reason so we are going to diagnose and hopefully repair this converter in this camper today because they've got this thing rented at the end of the week so campground would like to have it going so let's uh let's see what we can do all right here's our converter i'm gonna pull the cover off real quick so we can get to the guts of it Yeah, I'm actually kind of excited. It's been a while since I had a converter because the converter video, one of the first videos I ever did was a converter video. And that video performs very, very well. There has been a ton of people watch that video. Let's set this meter up here. Hopefully, hopefully you all will be able to see it. If not, I'll tell you what it says. All right, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we've got a 110 volt AC going into the converter. This is basically the converter. This is the part that does the work. That's what converts 110 volt AC into 12 volt DC 
to run all the different DC uh, things in the camper, which is most of it. Your controls for your water heater, your controls for your refrigerator, controls for the air conditioner, all your lights, your water pump if you need that, and all that. So let's look here. Here's our wire. Here's our hot wire going down to the converter. Here's the breaker. So we've got 124 volts. Okay. We're going to assume that this wire nut is tight. It was a little bit loose, but that's okay. It was probably still making contact. One hundred and twenty four volts AC switch our meter to DC and right here is where the power comes out of the converter down here at the bottom up here to make DC all right we got 12.71 okay so that means <laughs> dang it we don't have a bad converter um, so we're gonna have probably a bad breaker on the front of the trailer well I really wanted to do a converter video that's sad well okay that still doesn't really explain hmm okay oh okay this is gonna be easier, easier than I thought okay these 40 amp breakers are four. these 40 amp fuses right here These 40 amp fuses are an anti-polarity fuse. Okay, so what that does is if you try and hook the battery up backwards, it'll pop these fuse fuses rather than destroy your converter. So these both these fuses are bad. How do I know that? Because I took my meter. Hopefully you can see it. We've got power on that side of the fuse. We don't have power on that side. We got power on that side of the fuse. We don't have it on that side. So these few, two fuses are bad. Somebody's tried to hook the battery up backwards. I know y'all can't see, but it is clearly blown. Huh. Maybe. Let me see if I can get this new camera to, to focus here. Don't pay attention to all the writing on my hand. y'all see it see where it's blow okay let me go go find two 40 amp fuses i'll be right back y'all hang out here while i'm out here i'm gonna make sure the battery's hooked it up <laughs> while i'm out here i'm gonna make sure the battery's hooked up correctly on the tongue this is a travel trailer it's only got a single battery so let me check that all right i didn't have 240s i'm gonna have to put 230s in it uh, so did y'all notice what i did when I went across, because this was coming right straight out of the converter. The converter's making 13.7. But when I went over to the wiring for the camper, I got nothing. Two volts. Um, and I did look. The battery is hooked up correctly now. Nope. I just put that bad 40 back in there. That wasn't going to work out well, was it? All right. We already know we got power in the coming through the camper now because I see the LP leak detector leaking, leaking, flashing, and we got a light here telling us we got a bad 15 amp fuse. Yes, we do have no idea what that goes to. If we look at the legend here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it must be the TV. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see here. We know we got power now. Yeah, we got 13. Got 13.6, almost 13.7. So that's all good. So this is going to be a really quickie. 
here I thought I was going to have a converter video for you guys and gals. I was really excited. I was so sure we had a bad converter. I brought one in with me. <laughs> so there you have it. Sometimes it ain't what you think it is. So you really have to keep an open mind when you're going into something like this and don't just boom, you know, I know what it is. I've changed a thousand of these things. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and change it. Well, see, that would have burnt you today because that wasn't what it was. So, um, always, uh, and this especially, that was especially for you techs out there. Um, don't, don't assume you know what's wrong before you know what's wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> and for all you do-it-yourselfers, um, hopefully this will help somebody. Because, um, you know, it was a couple of, you know, 25 cent fuses rather than a, rather than a $436 converter. So, these people should be happy. I'm going to put a 15 amp fuse in that in there for the TV this thing doesn't even have a TV I don't believe yeah it does uh, but that would be for the antenna booster so uh, I'll stick it in there see if it stays if it don't probably ain't gonna worry about it and uh, I'm gonna go up the road and fix another one and uh, y'all have a fantastic day <laughs>